The New York Knicks fell to the Cleveland Cavaliers 95-89 to here at Madison Square Garden this evening. Cleveland was without Darius Garland and Jared Allen, but Donovan Mitchell, Karis LeVert, and Max Struess were all present. As for New York, they were without the services of R.J. Barrett. He was a game-time decision, but ultimately sat out due to some soreness in his left knee. The Cavs were thanking their lucky stars early that Donovan Mitchell came ready to compete in a rematch of last season's first-round playoff bout. By half, Mitchell had 23 points, two boards, and two dimes. After the game, Knicks head coach Tom Thibodeau spoke about the challenge of containing the Elmsford native. You're not guarding a guy like that individually. It's, it's done collectively. And so I felt in the first half we probably he, he got away from us like a lot more uh, in the open floor. So we got to make sure that we shore that up. The orange and blue were aided by a strong first half from Dante DiVincenzo. Their main offseason acquisition put up 12 points in the first act. The Knicks were able to hang in this one despite Mitchell's red-hot start. Two Brunson three-point plays turned momentum back in the Knicks' favor just before the end of the initial half and gave New York a 50-49 lead heading into the break. The beginning of the second act saw the Knicks lose serious steam. At times in the third quarter, it was apparent they were not playing as a true unit on offense. Ultimately, Cleveland would begin to pull away and create separation even when the Knicks showed spurts of life. All told, Mitchell would tally a game-high 30 points while Levert and Mobley would combine for 33. The Knicks got double-figure scoring marks from Brunson, DiVincenzo, Quickly, and Hart, but suffered from an overall lack of unity. Additionally, Julius Randle was only able to supply six points on a poor shooting night. Once again, your final score is the Cleveland Cavaliers 95, the New York Knicks 89. New York is now 2-3 and three on the young season. They'll look to shake off this one on Friday when they head to Milwaukee for a date with the Bucks. With WFUV Sports, I'm Colin Loughran.